May EDU count is 1472. The June EDU count is 1475. Any other questions? Yeah, that Carson report, is that available for the public to view? That's part of our... What? It's, yeah, it's not, it's not look at it. You can look at it. And well, yeah, own. because we pay for it with, you can, you with can public look money, so. Right. Look at it. And, and Jerry, else. work on getting that from the bank. Anything. We're, we're working on it. The, the bank sends us, once a year, the bank sends us what they use to guarantee all the funds that they put into the account. And that is, uh, it shows that they're pledging $20 million for us. For our money, yeah. For our money. And we get that every year. Well, you paid $7,750 for an audit report, and for the last three years, if you went back and read the audit report, they put in the same recommendation. So who's who's wrong here? And if, if you if you read the audit report from another municipality, it's going to basically be the same as ours. They're all alike, every uh, one of them. Yeah, but, you know. But that's what they are, Rose. They're a report, and they cover their tail. On everything that they tell you, they cover their tail. Whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent, that's what they do. Yeah, but they make a lot of valid points. They, they do. You don't, you, you don't, you have parts delivered, and you don't have a check from balances. You don't have an inventory. Well, inventory is simple to keep. A 12-year-old can keep an they inventory. They don't need parts. Our machines are, our, you know, pumps are breaking every day, and they're repaired every day. So we're doing something right. We're doing something right, and. That's all I can, I can say. Anybody else? Gary, you want to do a report on the inlines? You have the revised cost. I think it's 139,000 versus 148 for pump station five. We, and what, what it reflects is the original chamber was 12 foot deep, which was the depth of the wet wells that are there. And when Stan and I went out just to, I was down in the valve vault, and I, you know, confirmed all the measurements. Some of them didn't agree with the ad built drawing. They weren't off a lot, but from the inlines, it's it's critical that everything is set up right when it comes in. But then, <coughs> I, I, I don't have a clue. I don't know if you remember, we pulled the manhole off. We pulled the lid off the manhole that comes in off of, of Green Grove Road. And the manhole invert is about seven feet above the bottom of the, the wet well, which somewhere in that six foot piece, there has to be a series of 45s or 90s because the inlet in the wet well is down there, but the outlet of the manhole. So it was not a big deal. It's just that, you know, we first thought that the, uh, like the, the gravity or the, the hydraulic from coming from Justice Corners. But, you know, then we talked to the salesman and Nick said that they don't like to do it that way. It, it would work, but they would rather that the inlet of the inline pump was flooded. If they don't want it to draw. So then, you know, we just figured out a configuration, had to eliminate using the valve vault, which we had intended to do and we went back to using their chamber, but now instead of being 12 feet deep, I think it's five feet deep. So there was a, I don't know, savings of $9,000. The pump is the same, the pump doesn't change, it's just the, the prefabricated chamber. So, um, you know, we're ready to go. Uh, they're wondering if you're ready to order the pump, you know, and if you're ready to move on. How close are you to Design for well, I'm, my my design is my sketches I sent to him. You know, the people in Kansas approved it, and the people in France approved it. So um, all I really need is a spec pack so you can build it. I I I have a uh, a theory on how we're going to put it together. And, you know, we've looked at it a couple times in the office and. And I think we can do it. You know, we're going to disconnect one of the pumps for sure. And then where that pump goes out, they connect 
somewhere outside of the valve hall. Right. So where that pump comes out, we're going to use that as our discharge line for our pump. So we can have the discharge line set up, and the only thing that we're going to have to deal with is disconnecting the feed line to the wet well from the manhole and connecting it into the inlet side of the pump, which, like they did that <coughs> connection up in New York in, what they tell us, six or seven hours? Yeah. So I, I, I it shouldn't take more than that, you know, but we'll uh, just have a tanker on standby, probably do it through the night. But everything can be in place, even if like tapping into the, like we can tap into that manhole, we can pick it, you know, to stop the flows from coming in there, and then all we got to do is connect it to the manhole, you know, when, when we've got the pump to work. We won't, we won't plug the outlet of the manhole until we know the pump is working, but and we'll get that point, we'll still have one, one pump in the wet while working. We will we'll wind up with a valve that we're not going to take out, you know, so that I can, I can, you know, change from one pipe to the other if we have to. But and it's there now. It's not when we go to pump station eight and we're into the valve. Yes. Yeah, those, those stations aren't set up for emergency bypass pumping. Set up for emergency right. bypass. Yeah, they got out. They, they do. So. But they're smaller lines. It's out here. And they have a manual check valve that you can open book to. Right. And when we drain the line from pump station nine down. We use that. We we use that. Just just <coughs> but we have to have a lamp piping to get to bypass everything. There's nothing for us to bypass too. So they, they weren't really set up that where there was like a standpipe outside where you could just Well there's a standpipe outside that we use to like, you know, pump it up to eight from there isn't practical. Yeah. You know, what we do, we'll use, we'll use what I, I, I was describing it, and then that bypass line or whatever they call it, you know, we can, we can put the tanker onto that and put this you know, and have the tanker actually pumping out of the wet well when we change it over. But, you know, until, until we're that close, we can still continue to use the one pump. Then, then you're going to have to, like, Probably got two tankers you can shove between eight. Could 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 plug the line and let it back up for that amount of time or no? Can we put a backup one? No, can we no. plug the line and let it back up for that amount of time? Or is that is yeah, to a degree we can. Because we, we were gonna do that up there too. Oh, just if we ran out of, if we ran out of storage in that right. that tank that we had there, we were just gonna plug the one. I don't I don't think I think it's gonna go fast enough that we don't have to worry. But you're going to have those those two big pumps, you know, and they're they're 75 horsepower pumps. I don't know if there's any value to them. <coughs> and it's going to bid them both at the same time. They both pump station five and eight they bid at the same time. Mm -hmm. well, the five is going to be hooked up, and we're going to give it three or four weeks to we go to eight to make sure that we don't have any any glitches at five. So that's that. They won't be done the same night, the same time. We'll be booking so we can be sure that there is no glitches. And the company manufacturers actually come in and do the install? Or do we have to all? Excuse me, Dave? We have yeah. the, the install. We have to bid that out. Yes. Now they, up in Chautauqua, they, uh, they, well, it was a little town outside of Chautauqua. And uh, Sherman. And uh, they was able to bypass with a regular pump, a big pump, and they it took them like years and six months on. And they had two big manholes. One everything flowed into it, and it flowed into another one. They pumped on that and pumped up because the pump station was The aeration chamber it might have been a 35 foot lift over a 50 foot That's line. You know what I'm saying? And they pulled it every day. They pulled the pumps every day to clean it. And then when they put this pump in, they put it in in January. We was there in April, and they had never pulled the pump in. They had reverse choppers on it. The pump was in a reverse and chops everything up and then pushes the pump. Out. For more respect, that you don't have to take the choppers. That's a, an option. But we had the choppers on ours. I, I I don't understand. What's 
absolutely amazing. When the, when the pump senses there's something in the choppers that stops, it chews it up and then it backs it up and it keeps going. First, first year they monitor from France, and they can actually correct everything, tweak it, right. send them over there. After the first year, then it's up to you whether you want them to keep monitoring it or you have someone else to monitor. I do have some pictures, I think, on my phone. Up down wet, well, they're not good shots, but. Yeah, I have one through brochures. I, I, I know. Yeah. And that was just a retrofit into their wet well. They, uh, they didn't need a. And it, the, the lift is a plastic pipe. Anything else you got, Kevin? Uh, would it be proper to make a motion to authorize Gary to work with? Well, we already agreed that, that we were going to change the pumps. Mm -hmm. so, there you go. You have the motion to purchase them, or I mean, he's he's looking to find out. He wants to let company know before the end of the month so that he doesn't have to change his pricing again. Said so he's not threatening us with the price, you know, but at the end of the month they'll look at it again. He's still holding the same pricing he did from two years ago when he gave us the first one. And that's what he based this one on. No reason why we should be waiting on it, right? No, there's there's no no, no advantage to right on it. Yeah, well, I've already I've checked with where we get the great piece in here on this on this checks with them. Yeah, it, it was a finance. small project grant or something like that. I've already checked with them. I explained the pump to them, so they're okay with that. Will we have to pay that up front and then be reimbursed, or is this something that the grant money's going to pay for directly? Um, I don't have to call her on. I think I asked her that year, and I forget. Forget, I yeah. I just thought of that, though, too, you know? Yeah, I, I can't remember what Does anybody know? You know? Yeah, I can't remember if we had a paper I, up I front think and they could reimburse. The one that I did down in Dixon, the Dixon paid up front, and then you said you don't care. No. But because it's an approved fund, you don't have to wait for anybody to look at it. If you, if you give them a receipt, I, I think Dixon had to check within a week or so. Okay, so, so if, if we have to pay for it, then, then immediately yeah, we submit the bill and we should be... Due diligence to get that, yeah. that invoice right down there. I think a motion is in order to have Nick proceed with the manufacturing have Gary order the pumps that we're going to need for 5 and 8. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 We we'll have an exact dollar figure. Excuse we me. have an exact dollar figure? Yes, we have a quote. I, oh, that's what you were looking at. Okay. Yeah. That's where the yeah. and I are from tonight. So he revised it when I shortened the chamber up. Well, I don't know about the revision. What's the revision? What is I'm under the impression it's about 230 feet. Right. For, right. The, it's five years. Years. It was for the five years. It's five years. It's for the whole field. No? It's for labor. Access. I think it's 140, 139 for this one now and 89 for, for age. Something like that. The grant, the grant will cover the two pumps from up the labor. You're, you're going to be on the hook for the labor, and you don't have the cool that, that's going to be. But we still, we haven't been denied on the second grant yet. Right. And? But I did, I did have a little conversation. We learned from the first grant that these are acceptable, although these aren't the pumps that we talked about on the first grant. Right. But the grant says pumps. And that's all the lady asked me. There's still a pump. I said they're going, instead of sitting there as a spare pump waiting to go in, they're going to go in. So she said, you're fine. So now we have the second grant is in there with another spare pump because I had to send her a letter telling her, why do you want another one? You ordered two. I said, no, we got rid of them and we're putting these in. So we said we got a second spare pump and we're waiting for the installation on that. <coughs> We're going to install these pumps with it. So if you get the second grant, you can pay yourself to put these in with the grant money from the second one. Right. And, and, you know, the second one's taking longer, but we haven't been denied on the second one yet. You know, they haven't been approved, but they haven't been denied. I think we're right back to where the 
what do they call it, Pennsylvania Funding Authority or something like that. They haven't had a quorum for three meetings. Gary, did you come up with any kind of an estimate on labor? No, I haven't looked at that. Because we only have 7,000 left there. I, 130 in the 90, it comes up to 220, and we've got 30 committed, and we've already spent 3,000. I'm going to assume that, you know, it would have been nice to use that valve ball, but like the gymnastics to get that tight in there versus dropping his cylinder in the hole, like the labor for changing the big pipes and the valve balls versus just digging a wall and putting this one in. The advantage to staying in the valve ball is we didn't have to worry about the groundwater, you know, at pump station five. But now with with this wall only being five foot deep instead of twelve foot deep, we're not in the groundwater issue problem. You know, now we're still on solid ground. So and that was one of the big deals. You know, get some use out of the valve vault and two stay away from that groundwater issue. But um, you can see on the, the five foot manhole that we're going to be utilizing here, the pipe coming coming in, it's got some cracks in it, it's not going to, we're not getting infiltration into the manhole there, so, and it's so not. come up with an estimate on labor. Yeah. Yeah. No, we can do that. They're both. Now, they have, they have a company that will give you a price, you know, um. Ted Stahl? Yes. The company that we're buying the pumps from? They, they, they work with the, another contract now. Okay. Okay. Down around, where did we go the first time? Down around York. York. <laughs> down around York. They've got a guy down there that's working with them. On the who do you think would do it? Who would do it? I think, really, if it's... I would say probably Lindy. Lindy, Leeward, Nor. I mean... Any, any one of them. You know, it's... it's any of you the, 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 the machinery to dig, to dig for the vault isn't that great. You know, all you need is a good piping man. You know, somebody that's going to take a look at everything and have a rough idea. We give him our flows and everything else, and then, you know, we're, we we don't want to be involved with, with like the pumping or providing. We want the contractor to provide everything so he's happy. You know, he, he's going to make arrangements with the tanker to be there to pump it out or put something does go wrong, you know, the supply like they did here with the big storage tank or stuff like that, you know, and then you know, he does, he does the coordination for it. It's unfortunately, he's going to pay for that. Yeah, but you got to know, he's working with his own man. And that, like, we, we changed around up here when we did this, when we relocated the line up here. Um, that fellow out of Carbondale, he did nice work. I forget yeah. his name. He does a bigger job. Right. He's a rather small name. Do you remember the name? Nor. 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 Oh, was is that the same one? That does the job on yeah. 417? Yeah. I don't know if it's the same down there, but I don't I don't yeah, I don't think it's the guy Ronnie used to work for. Ronnie's was K N a whole whole lot. That's what he was. Well he's like he's a small guy up in but anyway, he, he, he was more than capable. We were going to supply the tanker up here because I had a good price on tin for rent or something like that. Tin or. But then we, uh, you know, we opted to let him do everything. And I think it worked out good for us. Can I have another question for you on another matter? Ronnie Marat's house on 107, the lot cabin. Is that tied up in a sewer? No. I thought I thought I seen installed the sewer over there. Ran it over. No, that's, that's got a non-non system. Okay. Thank you. 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 On expenses in the Honesdale National Bank EDU account, those expenses of $20,486. Do you have a detailed list of what those expenses were? Or do you know offhand? They were the canceled checks that came through the bank that paid previous bills. It would be it would uh, it would be uh, the bill list 
that's that's what that comes from. The bill is from. Okay, because that number didn't kind of correspond with. So I was just wondering what I couldn't find where where it was the twenty thousand. Well, it, it may not correspond to any with any bill list because you never know when the party you issue a check to is going to is going to uh, run through the bank and cash it. Okay, so do you have a do you have, do you have like a running list where you get this amount from, or does it come from the bank? It's on the bank statement. Oh, okay. It's on the bank statement. I just it's the same kind of bank statement you get when you when, for your your personal use. They'll tell you the checks that came through, and, and you, you reconcile your account, there'll be checks that didn't come through. Well, I mean, you list it as expenses. It's not always listed that way. As it, I list it as a debit. It, it's, it comes through. That's that's the way the bank lists it, you know. Okay. So it's 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 really cancel checks, the sum of the cancel checks for that month. Okay. And it may not correspond to the bill list because, like I said, you never know when a party is going to cash a check. Some cash it right away, some don't. Yeah, matter of fact, Jerry had called me a couple times and told me to cash my big check. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was thirty eight dollars. Just make sure you have your amount next month, because that's better now not I can ask you every month instead of having looking at the bill list, I can ask everybody, well, what you make. If I can remember I'll tell you if I can. Well, <laughs> just you can remember. Okay, motion is order adjourned. Don't be making excuses already that you I'll can't make that remember. Motion. Yeah. Yeah. Motion to turn the second.